Hi guys, this is my first video on this channel. Um, I have another YouTube channel, but that's more like just humorous stuff. But I love, love booktubers so much. I love watching videos and seeing the reviews, and I find it really interesting and really insightful. And I honestly, generally trust the opinions of the booktubers I watch. So I'd like to become one of y'all genuine, trustworthy booktubers. That makes sense. So I thought the best way to start off would to do a book haul because I buy quite a lot of flipping books. These are the books I have gathered together over the past month and a half I would say um, because I've been off school I have read quite a lot of books and as you can see from behind me I have quite a lot of books anyways so you get quite a lot out of this channel. Onto the book haul. The first book I got was The Fifth Wave. Now I have read it and it was the best book I read in about two years and that's no lie. I loved it. It was amazing. No wonder so many booktubers were raving about it because I loved everything about it. I loved the concept. It was sci-fi. It was interesting. It was intriguing. And this cost me I think 3 45 because I got it from Asda and they always have like the cheap offers and stuff and it was probably the best 345 I've spent in ages and I loved it and I will most likely do a book review of this and I recommend it highly. The next book I brought was Insurgent and I've read Divergent and I'm halfway through this and I stopped because it started to annoy me only because of um, Four and Trista's relationship was starting to aggravate me because I understand they're in a lot of angst and everything's all over the shop but it just started to aggravate me because I was like, just sort yourselves out guys and to put it in simple terms, they really weren't sorting themselves out The next book I got was called The Shadow in the North now this is by Philip Pullman and I love his writing, I love the dark materials, his uh, trilogy he wrote and I didn't understand that he'd done other books so that when I came across this I was like what? but then obviously being stupid like I am of course he's wrote other books, he's an amazing writer so obviously he's gonna have and I'm very looking forward to reading this, I haven't read it yet and I think it's quite an old book, it was published quite a while ago so I'm looking forward to this another old book I got was Holes by Louis Sachar, I think it's Louis well, it's Lewis, I don't know, but it's it's a great book. I remember quite a lot of people read this when I was in year seven, but I never did it and I don't know why. And um, I always thought about reading it because I've seen the film and I enjoyed the film and I'm pretty sure the book will be a lot better than the film because, you know, they normally are. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Now this book I have always wanted to read because once again I love the film and you know you shouldn't really go from film to book but it doesn't really matter and that was The Help by Catherine Stockett and I love the film so much and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love the book just as much and I'm probably going to do a review of it because I just love these sort of books and it's set in a time that we really need to remember. We need to remember how bad it was with the slavery and how horrible the KKK was and it's something that a book that's been done that pinpoints history and I love these sort of books I think they're really intriguing and really really relevant. The next book I got was a classic and this is The Count of Monte Cristo. 875 pages guys seriously 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 Alexander Dumas seriously did you not have a life? My granddad used to always tell me to read this it was his favourite book when he was younger and I was like I've got to read it for my granddad so I brought it and I'm very looking forward to reading it because I do love my classics and I love the style of classic writing quote. It's, it's intriguing, it's nice and it's lovely to read something different to normal YA fiction or contemporary novels nowadays. The next book I got, I got because one of my favourite booktubers, um, Poland Banana Books, recommended it and that is Angel Fall. Now I've never read an angel novel if, other than um, City of Bones like Shadowhunter because they're part angel. Don't get me started on that because I love that book series. You will come to learn that that is my favourite and I love it with all my heart. So you will come to learn that guys, just wait. I brought Angel 4 because I'm quite intrigued by it. I've never read an angel book before. Um, it sounds quite interesting, the story in it sounds quite interesting and it's sort of like an angel apocalypse. So that's just gripping instantly. I am looking forward to reading this and I most likely may do a book review, I don't know, don't hold me to that. 
Finally, the final book I got, everyone's been hyping about and I've been trying to stay clear of it, not because I don't want to read it, but because I don't want to be upset and I don't want to seem like the person who's just jumping on the bang wagon of reading this book, but that is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green and I am really excited to read it because I almost feel like I could do with a good cry and a good emotional book and I think it's going to be awesome and it's it's just been hyped so much that you know sometimes you can be a bit worried about reading it you're like oh is it gonna be as good as everyone's saying but I'm pretty sure it will be and you will get a review for this and I most likely will be crying because I'm gonna have to review it straight after otherwise I'll just have a breakdown or something so I'm looking forward to reading this one so there are all the books I got I got about eight I can do way more, more than that I do better than that but I just think because I haven't had a lot of money lately it's been put down but it's my birthday soon so I will get more money then and I'll get more books because there are quite a few that I have in mind that I want to get. So I hope you like this video guys as I said I love booktubing so I'm going to really look forward to doing this channel and I'll see you guys soon.